Hi, in this demo I'll show you a scenario where the JSONAR DCAP Central platform is acting as an orchestrator um, and in this particular example um, it involves uh, ServiceNow as a CMDB system and Qualys as a vulnerability assessment scanner and uh, the scenario end to end is such that Qualys is doing the scanning the JSON or DCAP central system is the uh, analytics, dashboarding, reporting, as well as uh, user behavioral analysis platform. Um, but the ServiceNow system is the CMDB where uh, new servers are onboarded. And so in order to automate the entire process, uh, what happens is that uh, the first thing that happens is uh, JSON or uh, calls a REST API to ServiceNow to get uh, any new hosts that are onboarded. Um, then an unscanned hosts collection is populated by looking at uh, previously VA scan data that was pulled from Qualys and seeing if there are any new uh, hosts in ServiceNow. If they are, another REST API call is made to Qualys to upload uh, the host information and then a new scan is initiated uh, again from uh, DCAP Central by calling a REST API in Qualys and then uh, on a periodic basis all the scan results are downloaded from Qualys into uh, the VA360 dashboard on DCAP Central, which is used by users. So this is the flow. Um, and instead of just showing you the end result, which you know won't won't really explain to you how things are working, I will break it down into the individual pieces and show you exactly what is happening. Um, and 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 so I'll kind of show you the sausage making process. Um, and I have uh, three systems. I have the JSON or DCAP central system here. Um, I have uh, the ServiceNow CMDB system here. Uh, and I have the Qualys of, uh, scanner over here. And so the first thing that happens here, I have uh, a bunch of, um, uh, you know, information about uh, hosts and databases, etc. Uh, you know, for example, I have uh, all of my IPs over here. So the first thing that happens, uh, there's a job that's called uh, ServiceNow. ServiceNow, um, and there's actually multiple things that I'm pulling from ServiceNow. I'm pulling uh, change requests for change request reconciliation, uh, but the one the one that I need is called service now uh, pull database servers and you can see what's happening this is the um, the the API that gets called you can see it's called the uh, database servers dot do it gets a result back in JSON um, and the endpoint is a service now endpoint and so when that happens, I pull any any instances, and then what I have is I have a a calculation function that looks at uh, the existing VA data and looks at anything that comes back from the ServiceNow CMDB, and it gives me all of the new hosts. Okay, so these are all new hosts that exist within uh, ServiceNow for which I do not have scan data. And so the second thing that happens after that um, is a, another job that's called Qualys, uh, Qualys add new add new IPs. And uh, what that what that does is it runs it looks at any of these new hosts that come from ServiceNow and it makes a call to this endpoint, okay, which is my Qualys API endpoint and it's calling a REST API called add and the dollar dollar IP is the variables uh, or the values that are coming from all of the unscanned hosts that I just showed you and so once that API call is made 
uh, in Qualys, uh, the way it works is the, the asset group is updated. Okay, so you have asset groups over here. And this is the one that I'm scanning. It's uh, all our hosts in the Vancouver office. Um, and so after that call is made, after that job runs, uh, these IPs will include any new hosts that I've added into my um, into my um, ServiceNow system. And then once the IPs are made, the next job that gets called is called uh, it's the Qualys scan. Okay, so this is this job over here, and this calls a different API. Okay, this launches a scan on the asset group Vancouver office which I which I just showed you um, and 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 so that launches the the, the scan and separately uh, any scan information is constantly downloaded from uh, from Qualys into DCAP Central so that happens uh, over here, yeah, I have I have my VA360 application, which knows how to pull data from multiple scanners, including Qualys. So it, it, it can include it can pull data from Qualys, Rapid7, Nessus, as well as uh, database-specific uh, vulnerability assessments like Guardium and Imperva. Um, but that happens all the time. So really. Uh, you know, on a daily basis or hourly basis, any new scan information gets downloaded. Um, and really, the end to end orchestration is all about changing the scan and rescanning it based on the asset groups. And then at the end of the day, uh, what happens is this, this data is always available to you on the VA360 dashboard. Um, so if I go in there, what I'll see is all my results from all my scanners, regardless of if it's uh, Koala scanners or um, maybe I'm logged out actually let me log back in here so all my all my uh, scan information appears on a single dashboard regardless of which uh, VA scanner uh, operated on it. Uh, it shows me my riskiest assets, the number of the top 10 vulnerabilities, um, uh, things like severities, and then I can and, and a pivot table showing me my risk scores. And, and of course I can I can always um, uh, drill down or filter out. So for example, this uh, open SSH um, was done by Qualys. I can see this over here. It says scanner is Qualys. So for example, if I only want to see the results that came from Qualys, I'll click on this to filter uh, on that and it'll add a condition right here at the top where this where scanner is Qualys. And so I'll see all my all my uh, scan results from Qualys. And by the way, if I click on the minus over here, uh, I'm changing the condition to say show me all the scan all the all the vulnerabilities that were caught or that were reported by a scanner other than Qualys. So in this case it will be um, I think on this system I have uh, the vulnerability data from uh, a Guardian scanner. Um, and if I remove it then I see all of it together in one place, both the database scanners and the host scanners. Um, so hopefully that uh, explains kind of the the end-to-end -end process where DCAP Central is acting as an uh, orchestrator automation uh, layer um, using uh, ServiceNow and Qualys and, and actually I forgot to mention one last thing is that uh, in DCAP Central there is also uh, a workflow system and therefore you can also automate the whole delivery of this uh, so for example uh, I can have a process, um, kind of a workflow automation process for vulnerability 360, where uh, regardless of if, if something is caught by, by a Tenable scanner or by a Qual scanner, uh, all the details are in one place. Uh, there is an automated process which is configurable, so you can, for example, 
uh, something is is in an open state, then it goes into a justified state where perhaps the owner says that they fixed it, or they say that they're not going to fix it for a certain period of time. Maybe then it gets reviewed by the risk team or the cyber team. But this is all configurable, um, and the whole automation of this uh, is all done within DCAP Central, uh, even when the data is coming from Qualys or any other scanner. So thank you. Uh, if you want more information, please visit jsonar.com.